Scuba Force Comfort Harness is coming in a little box, so if you unpack it, first check content, please. It's a Cobra harness, so of course we have two Cobra buckles. We have in total one, two, three, four, five, six webbing holders. Of course, one buckle. These are the new parts. We have new comfort clips, two of them. Two banded D rings, three standard D rings. In total, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tri lights. Two adjustable webbings already have a viewing on. A crop strap again. This one has a pre installed V ring. And then two webbings with a O in the middle. We are using our black double plate uh, for this video, but of course, you can use all of our back plates. Uh, the harness is installed the same way. It doesn't matter if it's an aluminium plate, a black double plate, or a standard steel plate, and also the working long and heavy installation is always the same. We have two of our Brooks screws. This is not coming with the system, but they are really helpful for the installation. But you can use every standard screw that you like to use. Let us start at the top. So we have taken one of the harness with the others inside. Bring it into position and now that's the reason why it's so helpful to use these ones. It's just to fix it at the right place. Okay. You are starting on that slot. Take it through, go up, first side them, go to the other side, same way, same procedure, start at that slot, okay, those upper sides are already done. This is the first accessory that I would like to show you. These are our comfort shoulder pads, they are really helpful and to give you an extra comfort on the harness system. Um, they belong, they don't belong to it, so it's an item that you have to buy extra. But if you want to install them, now it's the right time to install them, and that's pretty easy. You just bring them in, make a decision where do you want to have the D ring. Okay, but personally, the best position is here for the D ring. Um, but you can put a D-ring on, on every part of the, of the harness that you want. You take a tri glide, and of course the banded ones come in on that position. Alright, already fixed. For this demonstration video I take the, um, the shoulder pads out again. But now you see how to install them. You have to do it now because otherwise you can't install them anymore once the Cobra buckle is installed. Here are the two accessories that are really helpful. You see that these are Hans householders, and again, this would be the right time to install them. They're coming in our standard version, 
and with a reflection tape on it to give you a better visibility in the wall. This one to install is really not difficult. You just put the harness through the loop, bring it on position, oh, I'm sorry, like this, and it's already installed. So this is very easy. Okay, let us go on with the standard installation of the comfort harness. Um, you're taking a tri -glide. Again, banded D rings. And thus we are doing on both sides. Okay, both banded D rings installed into the arms. Let us go to the lower part. Again, we just fix it. That is just that it's not moving for the time we install the harness. We put a tri light on, that avoids that the harness is moving after installation. I'm going to take that slot, pull it through. Okay, you bring the tri light to position, go through it, then it's fixed. And of course, we're doing the same thing on the other side. Okay, we just turn it around. And you see, that's the way it should look like. These are our new comfort clubs. You see, they're a little bit alterated to the old ones. We put an extra slot here that gets you, that's much easier to install the system. You will see that a little later. If you install the comfort clip, make sure it is in the right position. Okay, it has to be like this. If you want to install a D ring on that side, just put it in. All right. Now it looks like that. And of course we are doing the same on the other side. So both sides are installed now. And now we are coming to the Cobra clips. Put one of the elastic webbings on each side before you install it. Then you are taking the buckle, put the harness through. We can take it off. Okay, and to fix the harness, we are going through that tri glide twice. Okay, you are seeing here's the harness, and we go through it one more time. And now, if you fix it, it will not move at all. Okay. And of course, we are doing the same on the other side. To install the adjustable strap, it's the easiest way to click in the cover buckle. Again, we really like these buckles because they're a really strong, good safety device. You can't open it by just pushing one. You always have to do two fingers to open it again. Okay, this one is a really, really great accessory. Make sure that the strap is in the right position. You can move that part of the buckle. Go through, starting on the lower side. Going back, 
We take another one of the elastic uh, elastic webbings, put it here. And this is the reason for the new comfort clip. You see you have three slots. You start at the lower one, go through the middle, and going back. And then you fix it so that you do not have any loose ends. Okay, and you see it can't move anymore. If you want to have some extra security, these uh, two tri lights can be installed here. Okay, the same way we installed it on the band dunes at the top, you go through it twice. But honestly, you can take them as spare because this one will never move. So one side is done, now we do the same on the other side. So let us install the crotch strap. You need one of the dry lights for it. Put one on the bearings. It is always the same. Okay, we are going through. Put it going through that slot and again. Same like we have done several times now. twice, fix it, okay, done. Last one, we install our buckle. You start here, back, back again. Okay, and to fix it, we go into that slot twice. Install. The remaining elastic one is going in that position. Yeah, we can make it a little nicer. Okay. And you see, it doesn't take so long to install the install the complete comfort harness. Some of the accessories that I would like to show you. We have our small weight pockets. Just can put here. If you want to put it really close to the back plate, it depends a little bit what is the most comfortable position for you. We would show you the right positions for everything in a couple of seconds. You can put it here, but if you want to go below that one, don't be afraid, this one is a quick one. Okay. You see, this one is really easy. The capacity of our small weight pockets, it always depends a little bit on the weight you're using. This one is around two, two kilos. And of course you can install it on both sides. If you have a need for a higher capacity, you can, you can take our uh, pocket system, our weight pocket system. You see, this one is double secured, so you have no chance to lose it, but you can quick release your weight. It's in a separate pocket. Capacity, again, is on what kind of weight you are using. This one is around four up to five kilos per side. And to install it, just put it like this. And going back to that point, and it's already installed.
Insulation was quick and easy, as you have seen before, but of course you have to bring everything in the right position. That takes some extra time. Um, here is a ready, to, ready installed system. You see the day ring belongs in that position on the shoulder. Here you see all the accessories installed, um, the shoulder pads, and now you see why we are using this harness hose holders. It keeps the an inflator, an inflator hose in position, it keeps the inflator in position. You can do it on the other side as well. This D-ring belongs here, the buckle belongs in the middle of the body, and if you have another D-ring here, it's the same position like on the other side. If you don't want to have any, any loose parts, put the whole adjustable strap to the elastic one. Now you have a very clean setup that gives you the opportunity to get out, in and out of the Cobra Comfort harness system very, very quick. It's a good safety and a good comfort device. That was our short video about our comfort harness, or the update on the comfort harness. Thanks for listening to us, and enjoy your dives. Stay safe and healthy.